Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Miss. How, How are you, you guys? Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hey. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, Blanca. We have Alba Marisol, Evelyn, Yesenia, Sandra Guadalupe, Nevi. Welcome. How are you tonight? Está lloviendo fuerte. Miss. Here, yes. Yeah, same case here. Por acá también. Empezó hace como una media hora, quizás. Está recio, recio. Ya han habido problemas de, de audio. <ríe> Esperemos que, que no haya más dificultad, ¿verdad? All right. Welcome, Sandra Yesenia. Welcome to your class. Sandra Guadalupe, also we have, right? Santa Margarita. Emilia, Hello. welcome. How are you? Everything good? I think it's raining everywhere. Está lloviendo por todas partes, right? It's raining everywhere. Okay. Remember what we did study yesterday? What did we study? We saw likes and dislikes, right? And also the adverse of frequency. Usuality. Uh -huh. Usually. Uh -huh. We say always. usually, never, always. Uh -huh. What else? Time. Uh -huh. Yes. We saw that like, hardly ever, never. We formulated questions. Now let's continue here with another thing. This is about reading. And... We see that by the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about special foods, develop skills in scanning and reading for details. So we're going to read and analyze the text. For that, we are going to watch the video. This one is about eating for good luck. Let's see what is it about. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. All right, so let's verify the reading here. It says eating for good luck, so good fortune. We know that in different countries, depending on the culture, they have different traditions, right? They eat the special food for New Year's, for Christmas. They have different occasions. On a special occasions, do you ever eat any of the foods in these pictures? On New Year's Day, Many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. We have the first one. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, round foods end and begin again, like years. 
Do you have new vocabulary here in this part? Tangerine. Tangerine. Is this fruit? This fruit, it looks like orange. Tangerine. Mandarina. Tangerine. Yes, so they are circular. That's why it says that they are round. So those are what is begging or begin. Or begging. Begin. Beginning means iniciar, comenzar, empezar. Oh, okay. So that's why they are round, right? Like years, como los años, he says. Why? Because a year finishes and then continues another year. That happens with the tangerine. As they are round, you begin here and you finish because they are circular. The other reading, it says, it is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. New vocabulary here? ¿En dónde es, Miss? En, yo en sí. Esta es una costumbre judía. Jewish. 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 Costumbre judía. Judía. Ajá. Mi. Jewish. Yes, tell me. Me está sacando, fíjese. No sé si el Inter tengo mal o, o la plataforma. It's for, right now, it's because of the, the weather. El clima. El clima está dando bastante problemas. Pero si gusta, si tiene de nuevo el problema, desconectese y vuelva a ingresar. Tal vez así ya no le da dificultad. Ok, mi suré. Ok. Question here, new vocabulary. So you see that they eat apple and they also Tangerine. Honey. Tangerine? Mandarina. Ah. It's a fruit. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. The next case, we have Greeks, los griegos. Look at that. Greeks eat basilopita. Basilopita is a kind of bread. Es un tipo de, de pan dulce. That's basilopita. That's the name. With the coin inside, everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. New vocabulary here? Rice. Rice. What? What is rice here? In Greek. Rice. But where Greek. is it? Uh, oh, try. Try. Try means intentar o tratar so todos dice tratan de encontrar la moneda ponen una moneda en este tipo de pan y el que lo encuentre lo comen. Eh, al que le sale se comen el pan y al que le sale esa parte esa pieza ese es el que va a tener suerte en el caso de dinero para el próximo año <ríe> it's a tradition it's part of the custom that they have So they eat that. You see here is the small coin. So that is the case of three different countries. Let's see another case. Let's see in Spain. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. Similar than here in El Salvador. So yes. people do this, right? The 12, you eat the 12 grapes. New vocabulary here? Okay, let's go ahead on New Year's Day. No. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi. Mochi is rice cakes. Son eh, tortas de arroz. Bolitas. Pasteles de arroz. Ajá. Son tor tortitas de arroz o pasteles de arroz. Como nigiris. Ajá. Similar than that. Yeah, correct. For a strength in the new year. New vocabulary here. Strength. Strength, that means fortaleza. Fuerza. So they don't ask for money. Ajá. Para tener fortaleza en año nuevo ahí. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So they don't ask for money, they ask for a strength. The next one will be 
Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, so they simulate coins. And the greens are like dollars, so they combine this type of food. So look at here, the black-eyed peas are these ones. Los frijoles blancos, right? Black-eyed peas. And the collards is all of the green vegetables that contain leaves, like this. It's all the cabbage family. Es toda la familia eh, de los repollos. All, similar than this, que tienen hojas. They look at all the calls. I had the cauliflowers. Uh, you have the radish, the cabbage, the lettuce also, broccoli. So all of those, they are called the green collards. So let's check here. Now we have about the reading in the platform. It says some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are like years. What is the complement? Is it round, round. Or sweet, or acid? Round. round. Round, right? Yeah, that's correct. That is the complement that we have. Round. So complete will be some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round like gears because they begin and then end and they start again. Let's go ahead with an exercise. An exercise here. This is to practice about the adverse of frequency, to remember about them. And we have two exercises. Part A, put the adverbs in the correct places. Then practice with a partner. In the example you have, what do you usually have for breakfast? We are going to include the advert of frequency that we have in parentheses to this sentence. Let's start it. Nevi, can you start? B. Well. Well, I have. I often include. Include the frequency. I often added. have. Excellent. Coffee, cereal, cereal? and juice. Cereal? Cereal and juice. Thank you. That's good. Maria Emilia, continue. Do you eat? Do you ever? Do you ever? Aha. Do you, do you ever eat breakfast at work? Very good job. Nice. Kenya Vanessa? Kenya? Problems with the audio, I think, right? Can you listen? Escucha. Yo sí le escucho, yeah. pero... Now, yes. Ahora sí, sí, se escucha. Yes, now, yes. That's okay. Yes. I have include, include sometimes. I sometimes. No he escuchado, no escuché esa parte. Ah, okay. You need to include the advert of frequency in the sentence. I sometimes Good. Have, breakfast have, at my desk. have breakfast. I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Yes? So you include the frequency advert after the subject. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Yeah, remember that sometimes, in el caso de sometimes, este puede variar, ¿verdad? Puede ir antes del sujeto, puede ir después del sujeto, o al final. Tiene una regla diferente. Thank you. Sandra Guadalupe, continue. Okay, Miss. Do you usually eat? Do you? Do you? Do you, do you usually? Uh, do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Very good job. That's nice. Good. Judy, continue. No. No. Hola, hola, hola. Hello, a little bit. Se escucha poquito. 
Ahí yo pienso que está fuerte. Mejor. Ajá, ¿ok? No, I hardly ever have rice. Rice, very good, yes, nice, thank yes. you. Let's continue, Kevin. Now, you are going to continue with the part B. In this one, we have unscrambled the sentences. We need to put them in order. order. For example, we have, I have breakfast on never weekends. The correct structure will be, I never have breakfast on weekends. Number two. Um, I eat. Include the I frequency eat. adverb. Frequency adverb. Okay. I, I hardly ever. Okay, that's good. I hardly ever. I hardly ever eat. Eat, excellent. We have the verb. Eat. A snacks. Excellent, yes. Snacks. At work. That is correct. Nice. Thank you. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. That's very good. Thank you. Juan Alberto, continue. Number three. Put it in order. Hey, good bueno, evening. No, Welcome. Estoy... Ando, estoy trabajando, ¿verdad? Ahorita le digo eso. Mm, ok. La tercera va a quedar. I sometimes. Mm -hmm. I sometimes. I sometimes. Eat. Excellent. Eat pasta for, for dinner. For dinner. For dinner. Yes, that's correct. Thank you very much. That is very good. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. That's good. Yes. Blanca, continue. Number four. Blanca? Problems with the audio, maybe? Glenda Guadalupe. Solo soy yo, se me ha quedado trabada en mi nombre. Glenda, let's, la podemos escuchar. We can listen to you. Eh, sería I often. Ah, that's good. I often. Eh, have. Yes. Um, dinner mm -hmm. with my family. Excellent job. With my family. That is all right. Thank you. I often have dinner with my family. That is all right. Good one. Okay, now we're going to repeat them. Let's see if Alba Marisol, are you present? Yes. Yes, okay. We're going to read them. Read number one, please. I never. I never have breakfast on weekend. Thank you. That's correct. Evelyn, number two. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Excellent. That's good. Now, let's see. Let's continue with Fernando. Number three. Hi. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Pasta for dinner. Pasta for dinner. Very good. Thank you, Sandra Margarita. The number four. I often have dinner with my family. That is correct. Thank you. Okay. Do you have questions? Questions with adverbs of frequency? Teacher. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Maybe later. Tal vez más tarde si le vuelven la energía. Right. Okay. Now, look, we are going to continue with another topic. In another section, we finish with section three. We'll continue with section four. And the name of this section is I can't ice skate very well. So on this one, we have like this. 
And it says that by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the US and Canada. So this one is Please. ice skate. Hello. Uh, esa frase de, oh, de, sure. de, de... This one, ice skate. Yes. Ice skate, that means patinar. Patinar sobre hielo. So I can't, that means no puedo. No puedo patinar sobre hielo muy bien. So this is a sport. Uh, thank that you. They, uh -huh, you're welcome. That they practice normally in the United States, right? In the United States, they do it also in Canada, uh, in countries where they have the ice. I heard that some years ago, they had like a, this sport, they practice it in Multiplaza, I think. Creo que en Multiplaza tenían una pista de hielo, right? Sí. They had the ice skate. You remember? Yes, miss. Yes, you went. So it must be like a good to practice this, right? Interesting sport to have it, but kind of dangerous. Peligroso también. It's kind of dangerous too. Very dangerous. Let's see other sports and let's check some of the activities. It says, which of these activities are popular with the following age groups in your country? And we're going to check the activities. Let's compare the different age. For example, bike riding. Bike riding, right? That we ride or bikes. Children practice this, not as an exercise, but to play, they do it. Also teens, the adolescents, they also practice by riding. Young adults, do young adults practice by riding? Yeah, right, for exercise. Yes. For exercise, they do it. Middle-aged people, like 40, 50 years old. Sometimes. Sometimes they do it, right, for exercise, for health. Older people, do they practice by riding? Sometimes, right, also for health, for exercise. What about golf? Children, do children practice golf? No. No, no. right? They don't practice these things. No. no. Sometimes. Young adults, yeah, it's very weird. Yeah, yeah. young adults, actually here in the... In El it's Salvador, my normal. Aha, uh -huh, it's not normal. Here in, the, in El Salvador, it's not normal to practice. It's not very common, this sport. And it's very expensive, right? It costs a lot of money to practice that. What about jogging? Jogging. Trotar. Do you practice jogging? No. Sometimes. Sometimes you do it, right? Yes. Children don't do this. Yes. yes right? Children? Jogging? Yes. Do they yes. do that? Yes. Pero sería un jogging de trotar por hacer ejercicio o un jogging de, de trotar por trotar, como, por ejemplo, cuando pasamos la calle. No, de hacer ejercicio, trotar. Ah, okay. It's like you don't run, no correr, sino trotar. It's like do exercise. Comúnmente en los inicios de la, de la educación física en las clases siempre empiezan they con do eso. It. Con uh -huh. it. And normally they do it like a one day a week, right? So normalmente lo hacen una vez a la semana, right? Like once a week. Dos o tres. Or three times. Ah, they include more time. Han incluido más yes. ahora, ¿verdad? Oh, yes. Okay, in physical education they do it, okay? So adolescents, the same, right? Because they have it in the school. Young adults, yes, for exercise. They do it for health. Middle-aged people, yes, for exercise. Older people is not very common here in El Salvador. What about martial arts? Mm. Uh -huh, yes, children do it, right? Some schools, they have also the discipline. Also teens. Yes. Young adults. Yes. They mm. do it, right? Not very common, but they do it. They do that. Who practice? Martial arts. ¿Quién practica? No. Who practices martial no. arts? Nobody? Nobody practices martial arts? Karate? No. Taekwondo? No. Middle aged no. people? Cobra Kai? <laughs> pulir, encerrar, pulir, yes. encerrar. That's good. Yeah. From Mr. Miyagi, right? <laughs> 
What about soccer always? The most common, right? The most common sport that we have. Yes, we practice it yes, sometimes in the school. Kids yes. practice, yes. Teenagers also, they do it. They practice it. Young adults, yes, it's very common to do it. Middle age, yes. Older people, yes. The puppy football, right? Also, they do it. Swimming? De de bebés. Ah, from, uh -huh. yes, I have seen that maybe from the one year, right? They start, or from month. They Mes the, the meses, the meses right? sí. From meses. month, they start having, like, the lessons for that, yes. Teenagers, too, they do it. They even do competitions. Young adults, middle-aged people, more for therapy, exercise, to get more energy, right? For swimming. vacation. On vacations, uh -huh. yeah, that's true. Also for older people. Volleyball? Anybody I practice volleyball mm -hmm. here in the group? Hardly ever. Hardly ever years. you do it? You hardly ever do it? Okay. Children, maybe in schools, right? Or in a competition. Teenagers, yes. yes. Young adults, also they do it yes. in teams. Yes. Middle-aged people. Yes. Sometimes, right? Sometimes. Yes. Older people? No. Hardly ever, right? Never. Yeah, no, never, never, never do it, yes. What about yoga? Yoga is no. a good therapy, right? But it's not very common. Not for children. <laughs> no. For teens, teenagers? No. No, right. No. Young adults? Um, Sometimes. So, so. Uh -huh. Sometimes they do it, middle-aged people too, like to feel relaxed, to find the chakras, right? All that, to relax them. Older people, yes. older people do it, right? Also to relax. Also it's a therapy for them. So we have different activities, right? That we can practice. What about this ones? What activity is this? What she practice? Running. Running. Excellent. What does he practice? Basketball. 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 Excellent. What is the activity that she do? Physical culturism. No. Oh, okay. Lift weighting, right? It can be also like that. Like weight lifting. Levanta pesas. So she goes to the gym. So that's what she does. Weighting. Uh -huh. you, can say like a, ah, you can say in this one, like this. We're going to write it. Weight lifting. Levanta pesas. Weight lifting. So that's another practice, right? Many women, they do this. Men also do it for competitions. Weight, pesas. Lifting. Pesas. Es levantar. Levantar. Uh -huh, correct. It's levanta pesas. So that is the exercise. That's the discipline that they have. Let's check another case. Let's go on the next slideshow. We're going to watch the first video. This one is about sports and seasons vocabulary. As we know that depending on the seasons is that we can play certain sports. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the US and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, People play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, 
in the spring I play soccer in the summer I go swimming in the fall I play football in the winter I play basketball try to give as many examples as you possibly can think about your family friends and co-workers and the sports that they play after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums All right, let's verify then. We have different sports, as we were mentioning, and depending on the seasons, are possible to practice or not. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. For example, in the spring, people play golf, play soccer. What is a spring? Primavera. Primavera. That's good. Nice. We don't have a spring in El Salvador, right? Only two seasons here. But, well, in these countries, they can practice, play golf, play soccer. But we practice here, also in El Salvador, these two. In the next one, in the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. So they practice these four sports too. Summer. What's summer? Verano. That's great. Nice. The next season, in the fall, people play football, go by riding, go hiking. What is fall? Otoño. Otoño. Excellent. Right. Okay. Do you have new vocabulary here? New activities? Uh -huh. hiking. 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 That means when you walk for a long time. Hacer caminata larga, sender, senderismo. Like when you go, for example, to El Boquerón. If you go to El Boquerón, if you go to uh, eh, El Cerro Verde also, and you walk for a long time, that is go hiking. Volcán de Santa Ana también. Ajá, so Santa Ana Volcano, that's another one. You go hiking. So you can practice these activities too. What about in the winter? People... No querían solo lluvia a ustedes, ¿verdad? Ya me la mandaron a mí también. <laughs> It's raining. Fuertísimo, oh, yeah. fuertísimo, está lloviendo. Uh, yes, I think in whole country, creo que casi en todo el país, right? A veces no llueve, pero acá en el área de San Salvador es bien raro que está lloviendo, pero ahora sí está lloviendo bastante fuerte. Pero yo no estoy en San Salvador, yo estoy hey, where are you? llegando a Santa Ana. Ajá, eso en todas partes, allá, pero allá llueve más seguido, ¿verdad? Sí. Santa Ana, Santa Tecla, y por acá deseamos que llueva más seguido. A la Tenango, <ríe> llueve seguido. Right, ajá, because you have more trees, donde hay más vegetación, ¿verdad? So it's more common that rains. All right, so let's check. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. A new, new activity here? Ice skating, we saw it, right? Is this, ice skating. No. Go skiing? It is skiar, right? We don't have it here in El Salvador, we don't have it. Ice skating only in some areas, right? As we mentioned in uh, Multiplaza, right? They used to play like some years ago. They practiced this. Guys, we're going to pass the list. Let me know if you are present.
All right, let's start. Aaron is not present yet. Okay. Alba Marisol? Present. Thank you, Alba. Blanca Rosa? Present. Thank you, Blanca. Elmer de Nilsson? Elmer de Nilsson? Evelyn Yesenia? Present. Thank you, Evelyn. Fernando? Present. Fernando de Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Fernando. Then we have Glenda Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Glenda. Juan Alberto. Juan Alberto. Present. Thank you, Juan. Kenia Vanessa. Present, Miss. Thank you, Kenia. Kevin Adrian. Present, Miss. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin, when I uh, listen to your name, it's like, ¿Qué? Mi pobre angelito, home alone. Do you remember? <laughs> Linda Guadalupe dice present. Thank you so much. Yes, I saw here. So Kevin is like, home alone, right? Did you watch that movie? Mi pobre angelito? Yes. You remember? Uh, yes. yes. So yes. what happens with the mother, right? When she's checking the suitcase. No, inclusive. Según uh -huh. lo que sé la historia es yes. que mi mamá me puso así por Kevin Costner. Really? El actor. Oh, can you imagine? I, I don't know what happened, but many of the mothers, they were in love with Kevin Costner. Muchas mamás Elmer estaban enamoradas. Dice presente. ¿Cómo? Sorry. Elmer dice presente también. Elmer, thank you so much. Tal vez tiene problemas también con el audio. Okay, thank you so much. María Emilia. Present, Miss. Thank you, Emilia. Melba Patricia. Melba Patricia. Nevi. I saw you, Nevi. By there. Yes. Rafael Antonio. Rafael Antonio. Present, Miss. Thank you, Rafael. Rebeca ah, Vanessa. Por rato se me va la señal, pero aquí estoy. Ajá, yes. Ajá, sí, es que hay problemas ahorita con el audio. Rebeca Vanessa. Rebeca. I remember I saw Rebeca too. Sandra Guadalupe. Present me. Thank you. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you so much. Jacqueline Marioris. Jacqueline Marioris. Judy Edith. Present, Thank you so much, guys. Miss, aquí estoy. Hello. Yes, Lenny. Yes. I saw you. Yes. 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 Gracias. Okay. I have the attendance. Por ahí la vi también. Yes, I saw you. <laughs> what about Melba? Melba? No? It's not present? Okay. Let's go on here then. Okay. So we were in the part of our sports. It's putting Glenda's present, Elmer is present too. Yes, okay. All right. Coming back to this part. Can you see the screen? Pueden ver la pantalla? Yes, Miss. Yes? yes. Okay, good. Yes. Now, let's check. Yes. What the sports, thank you. What the sports are popular in El Salvador? Tell me. Soccer. 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 Football. Okay. Basketball. Football. Mm -hmm. Basketball. Uh -huh. Which way? Like volleyball. Volleyball. Ah, okay. We have volleyball. That's true. Do bike riding? I guess that's true. Yes. Bike riding. Excellent. Swimming. Swimming. That's another sport. That's a Miss, good ¿cómo se dice patines? Those ones are roller blades. ¿Cómo se escribe? Roller blades. Roller blades. Ah, okay. Entonces, roller blades. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Just that this think? one is the noun. Este es el nombre. Pero la acción, el deporte, is roller blading. Roller blading. Este es el deporte. Rollerblading. Okay. And also exists the skateboard, right? Skate, 
board es la patineta. Pero el deporte es skateboarding. Skateboarding. Ese es el deporte. So, some people practice rollerblading. Other people practice skateboarding. Who practice uh, rollerblading? ¿Quién practice no. rollerblading? Nobody? Nobody practice rollerblading? No? What about skateboarding? Some teenagers, they practice Yo empiezo, mi, pero ya me caí muchas veces. Really, Davis? Recuperación. <laughs> Hey, that's good. Which one? Rollerblading or skateboarding? Rollerblading. Rollerblading. Uh -huh. And yeah. where? Where have you practiced? In the park, in your house, where? The, uh, es, es una pista. Okay. You do it there. Yeah, excellent. That's Ahorita good. lo but, tengo. Así. But it must be exciting. <laughs> Debe de ser like, emocionante, right? Especially when you fall down. Especialmente cuando uno se cae, right? <laughs> That is very good. It's kind of dangerous, but exciting sports. Yes. Okay. Any other sports? Welcome, Aaron. The energy came back, right? <laughs> He's connected yeah. right now. All right. So we have it. Any other sports? Really? Swimming. Ah, yes. Hiking. Hiking. Swimming. Hiking. Hiking. Uh -huh. Hiking. Yeah, that is true. Actually, as we have in El Salvador, many touristic places, many beautiful places where you can go hiking. What places can you go hiking? We mentioned, right? El Cerro Verde. What else? Any other place? Mention. Boca de Santa Ana. Boca de Santa Ana. El Boquero. El Boquero. Trifinio, yes. Trifinio is it in Aguachapán, no. Metapán. Metapán, ajá, yes. Trifinio is very cold, right? Mucho. It's very, very cold place, but beautiful place, yes. Juan Antonio, what about you? Do you like to go hiking? Do you like to go Hola. hiking? Hello, hello, Juan. Do you like to go Perdón. hiking? No worries, okay. Do you practice this activity? Go hiking? Fíjese que normalmente, o sea, entre que caminamos, es bien, bien poco, pero sí hemos hecho caminatas, por lo menos al Cerro Verde. El Cerro Verde. Okay, so you hardly Ajá, ever, sí, claro. hardly ever go hiking. Sí, ah, that's good. So you go Ajá. hiking. Uh -huh. Do you go with your friends, uh -huh. with your uh -huh. family? Con los compañeros de trabajo. Ah, with your co-workers. Hey, that's good. It's a uh -huh. nice adventure. Nice. That's good. What about Judy? Do you like to go by riding? Este es montar bicicleta, ¿verdad? Andar uh -huh. en bicicleta. That is correct. Uh -huh. Um, sometimes I sometimes uh -huh. go by go, riding. Go by riding. And what places do you like to go by riding? At the park um, uh, or where? Welcome, at the park. At the park. At the park. Yes, that is true. Yes, you go at the park. Some people go to the stadium, right? Also, yes, that's true. What about you, Aaron? Now that you are here, welcome back. The energy came back. <laughs> Good night, teacher. Hey, Good night. Regresó la energía, right? <laughs> no, aquí estoy todavía en oscura. Really? Okay. So we are with the sports here. We are studying about sports. What other sports? Uh, or let's say, what sports do you like? Um... Uh, play volleyball. Ah, okay. Play volleyball. Do you play volleyball? Yes. You do it. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes, always, hardly ever. How often do you practice that? Um, 
¿Cómo formulo la, la... How, how often? Remember yesterday we saw about the, the frequency, frequency word. How often do you practice or do you play volleyball? Then you can say, I always play, I hardly ever play, I often play, sometimes play. Se podría decir, I, I, always, I, I always play volleyball every day. Mm, but if you use every day, it's not necessary to use always. Oh, okay. Only one, only one. Only one. Uh -huh, it's only one. So I always play volleyball or I play volleyball every day. I play volleyball every day. Every day. Hey, that's good. Nice. Evelyn, what about you? What sport do you play? Mm, I play soccer. Uh -huh. Basketball. Basketball. Um, and, um, once a week. Once a week you practice the two sports. Excellent. Yes. Where, where do you practice them? In the park. In the park, eh? That's yes. all right. With your friends, neighbors, family. With, Who do you practice? With my family. With, with, with your family. family. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Elmer, what about you? What sports do you play or watch? Because sometimes we don't play. But we like to watch on TV. Elmer, are you present? No? Fernando? Fernando de Jesus? Sandra Guadalupe? I, I never, I never play sports. You never play any sports? No sports? No. No, no any sport. sport? But do you like to watch it? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Which sport? A specific sport that you like to watch? Soccer. Play Soccer. Tennis. You like to Do you have a favorite team? Mm, volleyball. But team, team of soccer. Su, ah. su equipo favorito, your favorite team. What is it? Antes le decía más el Barcelona. Se ah, okay. Like and now? And in the present? What is your favorite one? El trabajo nos consume mucho el tiempo. And it's ya. true, yeah. So it's not sufficient time, right, to watch it. All right, thank you. Sandra Margarita, yes. what about you? What sport do you like to play or watch? I like to go swimming. Ah, you like to go swimming. Nice. Yes. Where where do you like to go swimming? In a polideportivo and the beach. Ah, ah that's good. Polideportivo or at the beach. Hey, that's good. So you practice in, in those places, right? It's a good yes. discipline. Necessary. You get more energy, right? When you practice swimming. Yes. yes. You start the day with... Uh, right, more motivation. Right, good. Thank you. Okay, now let's practice this part. It says, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Now let's check. Well, we know that here in our country, El Salvador, we only have two seasons. Summer and winter. So which ones do you practice? Maria Emilia, tell us. What do you practice in the summer? Uh, repeat. Uh -huh. No, you're going to say in your case, your information. For example, in the summer, I go swimming. In the summer, I play basketball. In the summer, uh, you can say I play soccer. In Is the it? summer, I go uh, the soccer. I go? I go soccer. Ah, I play. I play soccer. I go play soccer. I play soccer. I play soccer. Very good. Thank you. Blanca, what about you? In the summer? Um, in the summer, um, play bas basketball. 
I play basketball. Mm -hmm. Hey, you practice that discipline. That's good. What about you, Judith? In the summer, I play basketball. I play basketball. Good. Nevi? In the summer, um, go, I go. I go uh, running. I go running. Uh -huh. That is correct. You practice that. Great. Let's see. Let's continue with um, Rafael. Are you present? I'm present. Yes. Okay. Tell us what do you um, do in the winter in the or in I the summer? Play... Oh. Uh huh. In the summer. Okay. In the winter. Uh huh. And this summer, um, I play basketball. Okay. In the summer, I play basketball. Thank you. Kevin, in your case, in the I, winter. Uh, in the winter. Mm -hmm. In the winter, I play basketball. You play no. basketball. Okay, nice. What about you, Aaron? In the winter. In the winter, I play football. Football. All right, nice one. What about you? Let's see. Kenya, Vanessa. And question, Miss. Yes, tell me. En el caso de, de ¿cuál es la, la, la palabra? Correr es una, trotar es otra. Yes. When you say run, correr es un... correr, run. 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 Correct. And running. that is jog. Jog. Jog, like this. Jog. This is like the, the verb in general. But if you say, ir a trotar, go jogging. Trotar. Aha, uh -huh. go right. Ir a trotar. Yeah, that's go Thank jogging. You, You're very well, welcome. Entonces, yo no room. You don't run. run. Yeah. <laughs> So you go run, you go jogging. Yes? Jogging. I go jogging. I go right? jogging. Ah, yes. okay. When do you go jogging? In the morning, in the afternoon, at night? Uh, uh, usually, 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 I usually, usually does the two or four in the tarde. Ah, from two to y four. Fin de semana en la mañana. Ah, yeah. Saturday and Sunday. What happened? Oh, a thunder. <laughs> Un trueno. Sí. A thunder. Sí, you say en la mañana, thunder, thunder. <laughs> On the weekends, <laughs> thundercats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Nice practice. Very important for health, for exercise. Yes, that's good. Thank you. Judith, what about you? In the winter. What do you practice in the winter? In the winter, play. I play. I play. No, perdón. In the winter, I go hiking. hiking I go hiking. 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 What places do you like to go hiking? Um, at the park. Uh, En las calles fuera de mi casa, no sé cómo decirlo. On the, on the street. Uh -huh, you can say on the street. On the street. Ah, that's good. I like on to go street. hiking on the streets. All right. What about El Cerro Verde, eh, El Boquerón? El like Volcán y la Matepec, en El Pital. Wow, El Pital. Yes, it's true. It's a good place to go hiking. El pero, ahí no es, pero ahí no es en... en, en... In summer. In December. Ah, in December. You like to go in December. Sí. Ah, okay. El so clima es super. Sí. It's super nice in December. Yes. 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 So on vacation, right? So you can go to different Para acampar. places. To go camping. Yes. yes. That's yes. another one. Go camping. Excellent. That's nice. Glenda Guadalupe, what about you? In the summer. What do you practice in the summer? 
Glenda, are you there? No? Alba? Alba Marisol? In the winter, I uh, play football. Football? Yes. Yes, see, not only men practice football, right? But also women. Look, let's see. We need to clear this one about football and soccer. What is the difference? Because we know that like uh, soccer in general, this one is like football for us in El Salvador, right? Like Latin, Latin America, this is soccer, football. But we talk about soccer, this, if you say about football in the United States, it's different for them. This one will be like American football, this one. So this is football in the United States. And it's football Americano in Los Estados Unidos. That's football. So in general, soccer, it will be the other sports. Soccer is this. And football is this. Pero nosotros pues lo reconocemos como football, right? The one that you play, el que se juega con este tipo de pelota. But in the United States, it's different. O sea que mis, este, aquí en El Salvador, en sí, tendría que ser soccer. Exactly. Uh -huh. Because the other one is... Eh, fútbol, fútbol in the United States, para ellos es el fútbol americano. Para nosotros el fútbol es el que se juega con esta pelota, right? With this ball, the black and white. But in other country, they have different manner to say the name. Entonces decir, decir si jugamos, eh, perdón, si decimos in the winter, I play football, nos referimos a fútbol americano, entonces. Es American, mm -hmm, correct. Pero todo depende sería... de también en como en qué país o con alguien que, digamos, si hay alguien que con el quien estamos platicando y esa persona es de allá de Norteamérica, si no, él lo va a confundir. No va a entender como que estamos hablando de fútbol americano. Ah, ajá, correct. Pero nosotros como sabemos acá que para nosotros el fútbol es fútbol en general, y soccer. Okay, entonces sería in the win in the winter I play football. I, I play, play soccer, perdón. I play soccer if you are referring to to this sport. What about martial arts? Who uh, who practices martial arts? Alguien que practique artes marciales? Who practices <laughs> martial arts? <laughs> Important, right? For self defense. It's good to practice it. Nobody practices? No practice. What about baseball? Who plays baseball? Well, normally this one is for men, right? Baseball, because also we have softball. Softball. Softball is the discipline, but for the women. And baseball is for men. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, permítame. Tenía una, una consulta. I have a doubt. I have a doubt. A doubt. I have a doubt. Or I have a I question. Have a doubt. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, significado de... Ok. In the spring. Mm -hmm. Y de... Spring. In the spring. Mm -hmm. What is a spring, guys? Do you remember? It's a season. Primavera. Thank you. What's the other or one? Or in, in the winter? In the winter. What's winter? For example, right now it's raining. In all Invierno. El Salvador. Invierno. 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 Right. Invierno. Thank you. So that is winter. Just remember that in some of the countries, winter rains. But in the United States, Canada, it snows. In the fall? Allá, pues el invierno puede ser diferente porque neva. Uh -huh. Sorry. In the fall. 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 Fall, fall es otoño. Sí, fall es otoño. That's fall. Mm -hmm. And summer vacation time. <laughs> right. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo puedo decir? ¿Cómo puedo decir que eh, 
I I go I go by reading in the cafe talon. I go bike riding. I go by bike riding. riding. Uh -huh. Yes, at El Café Talón. Ca or at in, El Café Talón. You can say at El Café Talón or in El Café Talón. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So you go back riding. Y, yes. Me yes. acaba de mandar una foto que la sacó del, de la plataforma. Um, Al WhatsApp. Eh, let me see who, who me is. Está lloviendo super ah, feo. Ah, yes, pero... Nevi, ajá. Yes, it's raining. Yes, it's problems with that. Yes. It's very, Aquí estoy very, a very puro a candelito ahorita. With the candles. <laughs> Una pregunta. <laughs> yes, tell me, Blanca. Este, a los compañeros, no sé si ya contestaron el, eh, las últimas preguntas de los exámenes donde tiene que oír uno. Listening. Listen. The listening part. Esa me falta, pero es que yo les lo pongo y lo pongo, pero no lo entiendo. Tiene que ponerle, eh, tiene que de poner los números en letras, pero no le, no le escucho bien. No sé si ya lo hice o no tengo. Uh -huh. finish. No han llegado a esa parte todavía. No he llegado, no he llegado ahí, Blanquita, pero déme, déme chance, tal vez sí. Ahora o mañana. Si es la, puedo... si yo es hasta la mañana parte final, todavía. no he llegado. Es la parte a... final, sí. Yo ah, sí lo okay. hice, pero lo que le entendí yo es de que ahí le dice en la conversación cuántas personas viven en cada casa y usted tiene que ver el tamaño de las casas y ahí tiene que ponerle en números. Ya ajá, sea en, número, en, en la casa número, ajá. Cuando le dice en la casa número uno, cuántas personas considera usted que van a vivir allí en la casa. Entonces tiene que ver la, lo, las casas para asignarles el número que usted considere. Ah, okay, 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 gracias. And, and remember, okay. you have to check very well the spelling. Tiene que revisar bien el deletreado, porque por una uh -huh. letrita o el espaciado nos puede, nos puede fallar en este okay. caso. Okay, 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 gracias. All Thank right, you. guys, we are going to continue tomorrow. Remember, we have classes tomorrow. Thank you, Miss. El, el, el viernes sí no va a haber clases, ¿verdad, Miss? No, no, there's no classes. There is no classes okay. on Friday. It's only from Monday to Thursday. Solo de lunes a jueves. Viernes solo en el caso, ¿verdad? De que a veces no se dé eh, la clase por alguna razón, ¿verdad? En la semana tiene okay. que reprogramarse. Uh -huh. okay. Special cases. All right, okay. thank you guys. Have good a beautiful night. night. Have a good, good night. night. Sweet good dreams. Night. See I'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow night. Take okay, care. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. Good night. Hoy se me va a tocar ver la clase desde de, el principio. Mis. Yes, you need to watch it. <laughs> Pero logré conectarme porque sí. Ajá, lo bueno es que se pudo conectar y vieron que usted asistió. Y... That's good. Sí, ahí estamos haciendo lo que podemos mismo. That Gracias. is good. That is the important thing. Yes. Thank you so much. See you, See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Sweet dreams. Thank you.